Hey, this is Sarah with Sarah's House of Random, reading from the Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. Today is June 20th. The Air After Pain. Live for the air after pain, and there will be no reason to run. Hippocrates said that pleasure is the absence of pain. Anyone who has ever suffered knows this is a deep truth. When I fell into the gauntlet of tests that awaited after the pronouncement that I had cancer, I was terrified of being in pain. I introduced myself to every physician and nurse as Mark put me out Nepo. But with every procedure, there was some medical reason why I had to be awake. I came to realize that there was nowhere to run. Once I accepted this, which took some time, I understood that what was most terrifying about my pain was the prospect that it would never end, that life would somehow freeze in whatever moment of discomfort I came upon. The terror gained its power from not being able to imagine life beyond the pain. The breakthrough moment for me came the day I had to have yet another bone marrow sampling. For some reason, these were the worst for me. But with the appearance that day of some deeper grace, I suddenly saw it differently. I recognized that this very uncomfortable procedure lasted at most 40 to 50 seconds, and I was arranged my entire life and being in anticipation and avoidance of those 50 seconds. For the first time, I realized I had a choice. The pain of those seconds would be the same, but I could ground myself, including my fear, and the very real fact that my life would resume after those 50 seconds. There would be light in the air once again after the pain. For the first time, I felt my soul that I was larger than my pain. This empowered me. So many times in our despair, we see our pain as something that will never end. In fact, this often dis defines our moments of despair, when we believe that our pain contains the rest of us. In contrast, there is this sense of peace to work toward, the belief that our life contains our pain. Meditation for today. Center yourself and focus on a physical or emotional pain that is with you. As you inhale, bring in all that is larger than your pain. As you exhale, release the pain into the larger air that is pain-free. As you repeat this, notice them on the moments that are pain-free and invite them to expand. I like that one because I've had not procedures like bone marrow samples or anything like that, but I've had some things done that I just really dreaded, really dreaded because I knew it would be painful. And then going through it, it lasts like, like you said, like 40, 50 seconds. And then you're like, oh, okay, it's not so bad. So I totally understand where he's coming from on that one. Anyway, if you like the video, please like it. Make sure to share, subscribe for more, hit that notification bell. Feel free to leave a comment or you can email me at the email address in the description box below. I hope you all have a lovely day. Sorry I posted this a little late. I totally forgot to bring my book with me today to the office, so. At least you're still getting the video. Alright, I love you.